What's going on, gang? It's your boy, DBGTX, and we are back. And I hope y'all ain't missed me too much. But tonight, we gotta feel cool. We gotta feel the ice. We gotta feel vanilla ish. I don't know which way you wanna call him. Vanilla ice, cool ice, 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 first ice, whatever. Anyway, look, bottom line is today we have, that is right, we have cool ice. And we're going to go ahead, or vanilla ice, whichever way you guys know him for. But honestly, the vanilla ice is sounds way better for him. But unfortunately, you already know that that name originally was for the famous white rapper so he was changed over to cool ice so that way there's no trademark issues in the united states um either way the guy has an iconic name there's a lot of other characters that have iconic names in the future jojo series even in the current jojo series and past jojo series and whatnot um nonetheless i don't want to sit here and talk too much i want to go ahead and get into that is right the JoJo's All-Star Battle Edition and reaction and breakdown of Cool Ice here on the channel. Obviously, we've been missing a few of them. Of course, with the demo being out, I was playing the demo heavy. And I got my review for the demo coming soon. So, y'all got to stay tuned for that. Uh, we're going to be going ahead and getting back into the swing of things with some more Street Fighter action. Uh, back into Street Fighter, of course. Um, nonetheless... When JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R comes out, we will be here, like I said, hosting a day one tournament for everybody who wants to join. So make sure you go ahead and continue signing up and hit the sub, hit the like, hit the share. And that's it. That's all the information I got with, with, with all the latest and greatest on the JoJo bit. So let's start this video. Let's get the reaction going. Y'all already know what to do. Hit the sub, hit the like, hit the share. Continue coming through here. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see what we got. All right. He didn't cancel it. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. What? That hits a downed opponent. Interesting. But I don't think you could can, can you cancel it? Hmm. Cool ice. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, yeah. Um, he's looking actually pretty decent. Personally, after playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure all-star battle R demo everything that i see here i see all the probabilities um because of the overhaul system and finally getting into the nitty-gritty of the overhaul and knowing exactly what to look for versus the previous game i see all the patterns and what you know can and can't be accomplished here but again right now he's looking definitely better than his original uh his original all-star battle incineration not gonna say much let's compare let's get it all right so the first move that we're gonna go ahead and talk about is the how dare you or the uppercut uh dp that this guy has that cool ice has to begin with the first thing is that if you guys see on the right side of here it has multiple hit confirms when you actually do this particular technique and it's also cancel cancelable and any portions of those hits in order for you to go ahead and be able to extend your combos and this one it only does a one hit confirm no matter if you're doing the weak the medium the heavy or the low medium hard whatever you want to go ahead and call it it allows you to set up a combo here but fortunately the only way that you can definitely do the combo will be with the spin cancel whereas an all-star battle r is the jump cancel another special technique that you can go into there's plenty of different routes that allow that you're allowed to use in this particular uppercut move, whereas to an all-star battery you can't. Simply put, this is giving you the way better options and alternatives in order to go ahead and get into some combo action, especially after coming in from a, a weak, medium, or heavy into this, transitioning into another combo. So yeah, combo strength setup is going to be very good with this 
how dare you now i don't know if cool ice will have a ex version of this um Haman users apparently are the only ones that have ex version of their techniques so we have to go ahead and consider that uh possibility that he might be an exception where there's a hybrid mix because he is a hybrid vampire stand user so they could go ahead and give him some kind of thing where if you do it do the motion with the x button it'll allow you to um use it as a ex uh the next move that we want to go ahead and talk about is the the great void rises now this technique in particular works exactly the same way in both games not really much has changed except for one the distance in all-star battle R. you can use this across the screen and catch it and catch someone across the screen whereas to an all-star battle it would just go uh, all the way up to the mid screen using the heaviest uh, input obviously the coolest thing about this particular technique is that this is also set into a combo ender so a lot of moves can be set up to be able to get hit with this uh technique so after a super you can go ahead and do this and does an all-star battle r you can do an amazing deal of damage at the end of a combo by ending your combo string with something like that not much else to really talk on on that note just basically kind of uh changing it up so that way this guy is more useful in the combo routes versus an all-star battle as far as it goes the move does the same hitbox damage uh a fourth of damage and whatnot and on top of that uh they still go ahead and do obviously a 13 hit combo so whatever you mix it in with is going to go ahead and input an additional 13 hits now this technique is the vicious arm obviously in the old school jojo all-star battle this was based off what uh this was based off how heavy you uh which button you press in order to do the attack the attack only changed in regards to how hard um the move hit or how much damage it took over here in all-star battle r i believe that this one is essentially changing so if you go from low medium and high it'll do alternatively one chop two chops three chops either way from the low chop you won't be able to combo but from medium to high chop there's going to be enough stagger to be able to allow you to combo cancel do things like that whereas to an all-star battle here it caused the animation frame drop as you guys see the character dropping now you could do a rotation cancel from this possibly and attack with the all-star battle but but in all-star battle r you can do any sorts of combo cancel here of course the actual cancel or you can actually use an assist to keep him right there as he's chopping away there's just so many routes that you can do here just an improvement now another thing that i want to mention is that i'm hoping that this also got changed into a reka a red kaken if you know what that is that's essentially a move that you put the input in one two three times the same button and he does the chop that would definitely change him up a bit compared to his last itineration but i think that another one of his techniques actually got that treatment and i'm going to talk to you guys about it down the road so let's move on to the next technique now that we got that down and let's go ahead and talk about <clears throat> the start with the legs now start with the legs can be used at all different ends of the stage you could do it at the end zone so this is basically his zoning game and his zoning move essentially to keep it short the biggest difference between all-star battle and all-star battle r is the fact that off of this in all-star battle r you can hit a down opponent with this technique meaning that as he's hitting you can actually throw an assist and cause the assist to go ahead and lift the character up as he's getting hit that is something that exceptionally is being pointed out here that you can continue a combo from, from a distance and essentially works very similar to the whole deal stop sign kind of thing that they got going where if you hit a person on the ground or the person is down you can use the deal part three swing and it'll hit them on the ground and if you want to cancel from that you can't cancel from that and if you send out an assist at the right moment before you start swinging you can also lift the character up so it's something interesting that he got this technique and i think that is a wonderful addition the zoning is going to still be there and you're going to be able to do all the sort of stuff with the technique but i'm looking forward to seeing people 
extend their combos this way and honestly you can still get the rotation as an all-star battle if the character's standing obviously so either way it's just giving you guys venues now here in the next portion of this video we have obviously the blood sucking technique this is a command grapple and this is a combo command grapple so yes the other one was a regular grapple i believe that was his original grapple and that was uh comboable in certain instances in all-star battle R, that comp that particular grapple now you can use it at the back end of any combo and it can combo into it as long as the character is juggling this one in particular can be comboable from weak medium super attacks cancels you name it so that's really what it is and it's very similar to of course dio's blood sucking technique honestly after a massive combo how else do you punish someone who whipped on their attacks by going ahead and taking their help after hitting them with a good 45 piece here we have once and for all once and for all works way different in all-star battle war now all-star battle war as you see here once and for all can be cancelable or you can stop it as a record this is what i was talking about earlier so you can cancel this technique as a record in all-star battle r and go ahead and attack immediately as in stand mode whereas with all-star battle as you guys can see the only thing that you can do here even though it's still a record and you pressing the square button to continue doing the attack or whatever to stop yourself if you stopped yourself the character animation would not allow you to go ahead and do combos either standing or crouching with your actual character like you can do in all-star battle r major difference and major point of emphasis because obviously as you guys can see combo routes are going to be used in this side on this side the way we're seeing it here this is going to probably be an optimal combo route to be able to go ahead and punish and extend your combos whereas to this one was probably used somewhere along the line to finish up a combo and and or into the uh command grapple or whatnot give and take if you're able to at least do that after you come out of the ball to do a regular cancel all of those things combined at the end of the day it just means that <clears throat> it just means that vanilla ice just has so many routes to be able to do a combo in this game and to extend his combos that uh he's been completely overhauled period he's been completely overhauled and his overhaul has made him a monster uh that's the best way i could explain it. looking forward to it looking forward to playing with this guy now so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of combos everybody come up with with this guy now that he's been uh <laughs> amazingly enough overhauled the way he does now i'm not gonna say here again like i do with all the ultimates i'm not gonna sit here and talk about the ultimates just because of the simple fact that they have not been changed from one game to the other they have been updated to 60 frames per second yes and of course you got the new animation in regards to the anime style version of the character that we're talking about nonetheless at the end of the day it is still the same that's all i got here for this guy if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure you guys go ahead and hit the sub the like the share we'll continue coming through with some more jojo action obviously here on the channel uh we have a few videos that have been posted up since the demo or before the demo but or in the middle of the demo actually and unfortunately there was really not much that we could go ahead and uh do with the demo being there with um everything else kind of being involved so um i do have my game review coming out uh that was coming for the demo of course it's not really a review because you can't really judge a game by a demo there's a lot of things that a uh, company could definitely do from here to there that's me being very very positive about cyber connect too by the way but uh that's coming out and there's more videos like this coming out as well throughout the week i will work well into the weekend to make sure that you guys have all the jojo content up to date and ultimately at that point that's where i'm gonna leave this video up i'll let the boy thank you for watching love you guys you already know make sure to hit sub the like share like i mentioned at the very beginning of the video and we will be back with some more action and of course all anime i'll let the boy